The first term of year 13 can be quite a shock to the system. And if that's the position you're in right now, then I'm here to help you today. Hey everyone, welcome to Miss Estric Biology. And in this video, it's gonna be a bit of an advice video to show how you can try and manage applying for UCAS whilst also revising for your A-levels. So number one, let's think early deadline applicants. And if you're here and you follow my channel, the chances are you are an early applicant because I know a lot of you are applying for medicine and dentistry. So the first thing you need to know about, which I'm sure you know already, is the deadline this year in 2023 is the 16th of October. But your school probably has an earlier deadline than that. My school's deadline has already passed. And the reason the schools do it so much earlier is so that there's time for your tutor to check your application that you filled it incorrectly it's time for your teachers to write their references and essentially there's multiple people that check it before it finally gets sent off and to do that for all the students in your school it's going to take a few weeks so the first thing i'd say in terms of how to manage your time to either meet that early deadline or maybe you are the later deadline if you're not medicine dentistry or oxbridge is to have a study schedule now i know some people straight away are going to be saying or thinking I don't like having a schedule, I don't like having a timetable, it's too restrictive and I just never follow it. I get that, but hear me out. This schedule does not have to be set in stone, I'm gonna be doing X, Y and Z at this time for this amount of time. You could do that if you're someone like me who really loves structure and will follow a timetable well. But if you don't like that, the bare minimum that I really recommend that you have is have a look at your new timetable for the year and have a look at where all your study periods are and pick out which study periods you are going to use for your UCAS application versus your homework consolidation for your A-levels. Having that idea as a bare minimum means that when you get to that study period, you're not then going to procrastinate and waste time thinking, what should I do in this hour? Right, what's the most important? What's coming up next? If you've already considered that on a Sunday evening for the whole week, then you're gonna save yourself so much time and you'll also make sure that you are balancing that you're spending maybe one or two hours on your UCAS that week and the rest of the time on your A-levels. And I do recommend you don't spend ages on your UCAS. The admin side of it, takes basically no thought at all. You're just filling in the details. It's the personal statement that's the tricky bit. And if you do need help with that, definitely check out my video here. I've got quite a few videos on how to write a personal statement. But the thing to remember is, even if you get offered a place from the universities, you have to get the grades to get in. So do not neglect your A-levels. Now, linking to that idea is, I do recommend in terms of juggling the UCAS application and your A-levels, it is to prioritize your A-levels. Like I just said, definitely spend an hour or two a week, particularly if you know you're a bit behind on your UCAS, so you need to spend a bit more time, but your A-levels are the priority. That is what is going to get you the grades to get into university. And the start of year 13, there's loads of new content, the questions are harder. It's like another jump, year 12 to year 13, just like when you had to do the jump from 11 to 12. So don't neglect the time that you need to consolidate your learning and also maybe revise for any tests you might have coming up early on in this half term. And if you do need any help with that revision, then I definitely recommend my AQA or my OCR flashcards, depending what exam board you're on, because this will really help you get to grips with the key terms and key marking points for every topic in A-level. And you can get access to those, just link below. The next thing that I recommend is take advantage of all help you are offered. Hopefully you have at your school, your tutor and maybe other people that are there offering help and advice on your application. Make sure you are taking up all that help that is being offered to you because when you write your personal statement, people spot things that you won't see. It's very hard to pick out mistakes in your own work, but someone else can pick out mistakes or offer improvements far more readily. And if that's not someone at school, maybe it could just be amongst your friends, offer to share and check each other's personal statements. And my final piece of advice is, this is a really stressful time because your A-levels and your UCAS application they do determine quite significant things in your life over the next few years. So it's very easy to become overwhelmed and stressed by this, understandably, and that's completely normal. So it's thinking about what can you do to try and make sure you still feel in control of the situation and you don't become overwhelmed. So make sure if you do start to feel any anxiety or stress towards it creeping in that you talk to your friends, talk to 
family, talk to people at school, and make sure that you are still scheduling time to look after yourself. Whether that is a little bit of exercise, yoga, meditation, or just simply chilling out watching TV, that is allowed and don't forget that. So that's it, those are my top tips to help you to juggle your A-levels with UCAS at the same time. If you need even more help, then definitely check out this video next, which is all about how to write the personal statements.